Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and solve problems number five through eight. So we're just going to try to break them down and make them as simple as possible. So I'm not going to go ahead and read problem number five. I hope you guys read that already on your own. Pretty much, it's just saying that there's a group of people who ordered soups and soups and sandwiches and a total of 18 people. So in the corner, I'm just going to write soups and then I'm going to write sandwich. And I'm just going to pick a variable or a letter to represent the soups which is S, and then a variable to represent sandwiches, which will be W. So I know that the total number of people who ordered a soup or a sandwich is 18. So I'm going to go ahead and write my first equation. Soups plus sandwiches will total 18 because there's 18 people. All right, so I already have my first equation. I'm going to go ahead and write my second one. My second one is going to include the prices of the soups and the sandwiches. So I'm going to first start with my soups. My soups cost $4.50 each. So I'm going to write $4.50 S. When you have these two written side by side, that means they're being multiplied. Anytime you see the word each, it means you're multiplying. $4.50 times S. And then we're going to plus the price of the sandwiches. So the sandwiches are $7.75 each. So again, $7.75 W because these two are being multiplied against each other. And we know that because they're written side by side. So when you add those two together, it's going to be a total of $113.50. So now I'm going to go ahead and I see that there are two equations that have the same two variables so I know that I'm solving a system of equations. I need to figure out what the S is equal to, and I need to figure out what the W is equal to. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to start by using the first equation, and I'm going to figure out, going to isolate one of my variables. I'm going to go ahead and isolate the W. I'm going to get the W by itself. So I'm going to subtract S from both sides. And so I have W is equal to 18 minus S. So now I know what the value of W is equal to. And so I use my first equation. So I'm going to go ahead and use my second equation now. $4.50S plus 775 W is equal to 113.50. Now that I know what W is equal to in the second equation, instead of writing the W, I'm going to write 18 minus S. So 450S plus 775. 18 minus s is equal to 113.50. The reason why I like that is because now when I look at my equation, I only have one variable. They're both just s. So I can go ahead and solve for that variable now that they're the same. So we solve the equation, solve for the variable. So 450 s, and then we're going to distribute the 775 times 18. 775 times 18 is 139. 0.5 and then 775 times the negative s would be negative 775 s is equal to 113.50 i'm going to go ahead and combine like terms those terms are alike because they both have a variable s so 450 s minus 775 s is equal to negative 325 s and so i'm going to bring down the 139.50 is equal to 113.50. I'm going to subtract 139 from both sides. I'm going to have negative 325s is equal to negative 26. I'm going to solve for s by dividing both sides by negative 325, negative 325. And I have s is equal to 8. So again, we have how many people ordered soups? Eight people ordered soups. So I'm going to go back up to what I already determined as my variables, and I'm going to write soups are eight. Eight people ordered soups. So now I'm going to, we just work with the second equation. We're going to go back to our first equation. S plus W equals 18. We now know that S is equal to eight. So it's eight plus W equals 18. We should be able to just look at that and know that there's 10 people that ordered sandwiches. But let's go ahead and just solve that equation, see how we would do that. 
subtract 8 from both sides, and W is equal to 10. So there would be 10 people who ordered sandwiches. That's what the question was, how many sandwiches were ordered. So the answer would be D, 10. Just as a reminder, when you're solving system of equations, and you know you're solving system of equations, when you've written two equations for the same problem, and both of those equations have two different variables, so when you're solving system of equations, make sure you use one equation at the time, at a time. Start with the first one, go to the second one, go back to the first one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to problem number six. Problem number six is a very simple solution 